all right guys i'm gonna take the x Max into work this morning as you can see it is a icy start to the morning it got down to 32 our first freeze of the year we had a frost now we had our first freeze so i'm going to take you to work with me today to work and back a little four hour shift here knock this out And I can show you that this thing is a great little work commuter. Even if it's cold outside, you got the right gear. Leaves will definitely, well, they're changing a lot now, but this is, the next week in two weeks is going to be the best. Next week, definitely. All right, we'll let this thing warm up a couple minutes and get on the road. Sun's starting to melt some of the ice and frost. It's cold on the legs. They're definitely not used to that. Also got to go on Amazon this weekend and order some heated gloves but the ride home should definitely feel much better now if I had my riding pants on I'd be good even my hands are cold it's it well it is 32 degrees outside so uh, it's probably warmed up to about 34 now, but... Whew. Body is definitely not used to that. Remember all that was woods? Well... It's gonna be some kind of shopping center now. tearing all this down right here this is going to be a Wawa tearing all this stuff down this is going to be I don't know what this is going to be a cut through road big old tractor trailer behind me yeah it's still 34 degrees and it is 929 working a 10 to 2 shift today And that's all I work is four hour shifts. Three, three, about three or four, four hour shifts a week. That's all I need. That's all I want to keep me, uh, keep me busy. And that and YouTube and riding. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. Look at those reds. I love those reds. Yeah, if you got the right gear, the X Max is with the storage. You can put your lunch in there if you got to take a lunch. Extra change of clothes to fit underneath the seat. You could pretty much ride this all year round. I mean, I'm not saying in the winter time when it's 15 degrees outside, but if you're dressed warm and you don't have too far to go. And the X-Max sure doesn't mind. It wants to be driven. Ridden, sorry, not driven. You ride a motorcycle, you don't drive a motorcycle. Yeah, we'll take a more scenic route home. We'll take the back way. Headed down to the Ocean City area this weekend for two days. Head back Sunday morning. Just one last little getaway. Supposed to be a spectacular weekend. Highs in the upper 70s. Nice rebound. Nice rebound from this cold weather. That's starting to feel a little better now that I'm in the sun. You didn't even I see that's about a mile I bet you the it bet you it's not even three miles to work I was saying six the other day but that ain't even right there's no way it's six miles there's some red I love that fire red Yeah, it's not even close to six miles. It did go up to the mountain the other day, filmed a great video. That's going to be released early next week. Got to do some edits on it, but man, what a spectacular ride that was. Cold, yes. Great ride, though. Beautiful scenic views, spectacular. You guys are gonna love that video. Went up Braddock Mountain to the Washington Monument State Park. I 
have to stop by. I want it. It's one of these buildings that I want. That little one over there. Let's stop and see what the price of that is. Fortunate to live in a place where you have all four seasons and just I don't know something about fall I mean it's just it's breathtaking the free stuff in life makes you happy you know Amazon Arbor Freight guys Quality tools lowest prices That's where I work Part time The great retirement job Great people great atmosphere All right guys, I'm going here and knock this four-hour shift out and We'll get back on this bad boy and take the long way home. All right, guys. This is episode 22 of my weekly vlogging series. We'll be back after this four-hour shift. All right. Done with that four-hour shift. It's 2 o'clock. It's up to 53 degrees. Beautiful, bright sunshine. It was pretty good. Pretty breezy. But we're going to take the back way home. We're going to knock this thing out. All right, guys. Get on this thing and go. I don't think I need the jacket anymore. I got this sweatshirt on. I think that should be sufficient. Because that jacket can get pretty hot. Especially with the sun beaming down like that. Easy day today. I only had eight pages of replenishment. So what I do is I'm in the back and I pull everything that we sold the day before for people to restock if we have it. Really simple job. Easy. Pick the products off the back shelves. Get it carts ready for people to put out. It is definitely breezy out here.
Yeah, you got to really be careful out in this part because it is um, very busy and very um, chaotic and going up around the mall, hitting the back way. You can see the flags whipping. Oh my God, I smell off. They have a rotisserie chicken place right over here beside on my right and they cook uh, the rotisserie chicken over um, hickory smoked um, wood. Oh my gosh. I could dang near eat the whole chicken myself. Let's see if we can catch this light. This is where you got to really watch it. All right, any day now, light. Actually ain't that bad out here right now. But if it was four or five o'clock it would be pretty chaotic. And that's the good thing about the uh, the Yamaha X Max is like I had that big jacket and other stuff and it's so much room in the seat you can you know if you have to shred your jacket or your backpack or whatever it's just so much room in this thing oh you got this car we got this You know, even if, I was just thinking, even if you don't, if you're not YouTubing or you're vlogging or anything, it's always good if you could get a cheaper camera hooked to your helmet and just record while you're riding because you might need that someday. Somebody pulls out in front of you. Just like they have dash cams now. I mean, you can get 
you can get a pretty relative I started out with a, an a queso um, camera it was like 50 bucks when I first started the channel just mount that bad boy to your helmet peace of mind you know Now we're crossing over 70. There's my maple there. I don't know, I could probably rethought that jacket thing. I, I'm kind of chilly. Currently getting 90.2 miles per gallon on the OX Max. Already harvest all the corn. Well, in this location, anyway. Oh my goodness gracious! Yeah, I could have wore the jacket. That <laughs> wind is ripping pretty good, especially right here across these fields. Chile, Chile. Well, I hope you guys get out this weekend. Be safe. No, they haven't cut this yet. Try to log some miles. definitely putting in some work next few weeks man I just from the next two weeks next week and Halloween week I'm just riding and recording I might have a video up every other day I mean there's no rain in sight just like mid of the upper 60s sometimes low 70s it's gonna be perfect the leaves will be at their peak be going on some adventures.
turning, buddy. Alright guys, remember, like, subscribe, comment below, make sure you hit those thumbs up, this video we're going to try to hit 20, I know my uh, vlogging series doesn't get a whole lot of views, but let's try to hit 20 on this one, 20 thumbs up, alright guys, until next time. Slow Riders Motor Vlog, episode 22 of my weekly vlogging series, is out of here.